Wow, absolutely insane sunset. Sorry I didn't have a lot of time to film B-roll. The road in here is quite treacherous with snow and mud and sand and there's a lot of rocks you have to crawl through and I gave myself plenty of time and I still took a while to get here. So as soon as I parked, I had to rush down here, set up my shot, find the composition. I've been here once before, you can check it out here, but I wanted to shoot something a little bit different and the conditions right now are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not gonna talk for very long. I've already taken one preliminary shot with the light that hit the rocks in my foreground on my composition, which I'll show you in a second. But now I'm waiting for the clouds to get hit by the color and they are right now. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go shoot that. Pretty stoked, absolutely gorgeous here uh, and just feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere, so. So this is my composition. Actually, you know what? It's a little too dark to explain this composition on the back of the camera right now. So I think I'm just gonna voice over it. Here you go. Okay, so this was the composition I was trying to show you that was on the back of my camera and it was too dark. And I just wanna say now that I don't think this composition works, but let's break it down really quick. My idea was to have something in the foreground that kind of led your eye through the image so that you can make it your way through everything. Not necessarily that the middle ground is the most important part because I actually really like these clouds up here. I like how ethereal they are and wispy and the gradient of colors from right to left that you can see in the clouds. But overall, there's not a whole lot of light hitting my foreground here, or sorry, my middle ground. And I'd have to play around with how I edited this to make it work. But realistically, the most distracting thing is these foreground objects where I was trying to use them to better the image, but I actually think they detract from the image overall. And even though I thought this shape was really unique and pretty cool, it, I, I just don't think it, I don't think it helps the image. I think it's just more of a distraction, almost like it looks like I could have, you know, <laughs> that I didn't even see the bottom half of the image when I took it. It was like, why did you take this image? Why is this specifically like this? Why do you have this rock here in the foreground? Why didn't you just take the image by standing up higher or something like that. It almost looks as if I'm trying to get the best image I can uh, and this is just in my way kind of thing rather than enhancing the image. And I think that's what's really important is that I only had five to 10 minutes to find this composition and I knew that I wanted to shoot something different than what I've shot there before. Um, the next morning that you're gonna see, I end up shooting pretty much the standard composition and it works. But for this one, I really wanted to try something new. I wanted to try something that I had never shot and I kind of just wanted to push myself out of a comfort zone that I have gotten into. And I think no matter where you are in your photography journey, career, whatever, I think that we, we get stuck doing the things that we feel safe doing. I know I especially do that. And it's exacerbated the, by the fact that I make these videos and I present these images to you guys, knowing that like there could be people commenting on how poor my judgment was taking this shot. And I think I have to accept that but the biggest thing I, I have to accept is that can I bring this you know, image back and look at it and say, okay, <laughs> uh, it's okay that I made this mistake and that I took this image that you know, compositionally is not very good. But it's important to push myself outside of those comfort zones and try something new. It's the only way I'm ever gonna get better as a photographer and I have to accept that making mistakes is the best way to learn. So I'm hoping I make more mistakes in the future and I would love to know what you guys think down below of this composition. But maybe, just maybe in the editing, I can, I can get something worthwhile after this. So here's the final edited image and the rest of the video. Hope this made sense. Thanks for watching.
Good morning, everyone. It is cold and windy. I don't have a lot of time to talk. The sun is only going to show for a very short amount of time when it comes up, and I got to be ready. I've got my shot set up, but I'm also going to set up the drone and try to stay warm. Anyways, uh, it's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be epic because there's just cloud coverage all across the sky, and as soon as that sun comes up and hits those clouds, I think it's just going to be spectacular light show. So, going to get to shooting. I'll try to talk a little bit later and try to include you along the way even though I'm not going to talk very much. A little bit different composition this time than last time. Um, kind of more of the standard composition for this shot, even though it doesn't get shot that often. But that's what I'm shooting. Cross your fingers. So unfortunately, the sun never ended up hooking through the clouds. It did a little bit, definitely got a few shots of some great light in the background, but there was no light on my actual scene. It is what it is. Still glad I'm out here. Still glad I woke up, aside from having to get out of a nice warm bed. But anyways, since it is now just cloudy, I think I'm gonna pack up and head out of here and film a bit of what that's like to get in and out of this spot so you have an idea about yesterday. Uh, and since I just have the dick. So, cue B-roll montage.
morning everyone. One thing you learn as you shoot more sunrises and sunsets is that sometimes you're just not even going to take your camera out of the bag, which is what happened this morning. Uh, even though it's absolutely gorgeous, it's really nice to watch the sunrise, even though I did have to get out of a very warm blanket this morning again. It was a solid 10 or 15 degrees, and I'm the only one here. It's completely quiet, which feels amazing because normally this place has some amount of people for sunrise. It's an absolutely gorgeous spot for sunrise. But anyways, I didn't even take my camera out of the bag. Uh, and that's because the conditions right now are just clear blue skies with a decent amount of haze on the horizon. And I've shot this location enough that to know that I need more than that in the shots that I want to take. And sometimes it's really good to just let yourself enjoy a sunrise or sunset without worrying about anything camera related. I know that's hard to understand, especially for a lot of people that might be watching, that do it as a hobby, that do it as I'm going for two days and I gotta get the most out of this trip as humanly possible. But when you live in your car, when you wake up morning after morning or stay up for sunset after sunset, a lot of the times you can get more picky about what you shoot. Uh, and that's definitely a privilege that I have. But it also means I just get to sit here and enjoy the sunrise and be a little grumpy that I got out of my warm bed, but not that much. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked the video, you can like it. And if you loved it, consider subscribing. There'll be more on the way. And uh, thanks for all your support. Have a good uh, evening, a good morning, a good night, a good day, wherever you may be. Later.